In this tutorial, we'll take a quick look at the basics of operating the CS6 and using its features to document an inspection. After unpacking your equipment, be sure to read the operator's manual, which contains important safety guidelines and complete information about the unit's features and operation. The CS6 can operate on a rigid 18-volt rechargeable battery. An AC adapter is also available for indoor use and can be ordered from an authorized rigid dealer. The camera connects to the monitor with a CSNIC system cable, which is stored on the camera rail. Line up the connector's pins with the jack, and then tighten the locking sleeve until it's snug to ensure that you have a good connection and a watertight seal. If you look at the top of the monitor, you'll find a keypad that controls the camera and monitor functions. The brightness, zero, and sound keys perform the same functions as the keys on the integrated counter that's included with most C-Snake camera reels. Refer to your camera's documentation for information on using these controls. The RM200 camera reel includes a docking handle that can accommodate the CS6. The handle is a strap, and you'll want to use it to secure the CS6 when it's docked to the reel. We're going to move our equipment to a nearby cleanout and perform a sample inspection to explore the CS6's features and operation. There's a 4 inch mainline close by, so we'll inspect that one. Our entry point will be through a cleanout in the floor. Exactly how you set up your equipment will depend on the location. In this case, we're going to place the monitor close to the access point. We'll keep the monitor within easy reach and we'll position it so that we can see the monitor screen and the push cable at the same time. We'll press the power key to turn the unit on. The monitor takes a few moments to power on, and we'll use this time to finish setting up. When the red progress bar disappears, the CS6 is ready to use. The CS6 can superimpose text onto still and video images. Press the text key to open the text entry box. When the on-screen keyboard appears, you can use the arrow and select keys to enter text characters. Use the arrow keys to navigate the keyboard, and use the select key to make your selection. When you're finished entering text, you can close the keyboard by selecting OK, or you can press the menu key. You can reposition the text by selecting the Move icon below the text entry box. To print your text to the screen so that it can be superimposed onto images and video clips, select the green checkmark icon. To clear text from the screen, press the text key and choose Yes. We want to document our inspection with still images and video, so we'll insert a USB thumb drive. When the drive is ready for use, its icon will appear at the bottom right of the screen. A thumb drive can hold more than one inspection job. This drive doesn't contain any other jobs, so the CS6 will automatically create one for us when we begin capturing media. We'll grab a still image of our access point, and then we'll start our recording. If we want, we can pause the recording with the select key. When we're finished with our sample inspection, we'll press the video key to stop our recording. With the CS6, we can easily review our still images and video clips. We can also preview the inspection report and add customer and job information as well as notes on captured media. We'll press the job review key to open the job review screen. If we navigate to the right, we can enter in company, customer, and job information that will be included in the inspection report. The camera icon represents the still images we've captured. We can view an image, and we can add notes using the on-screen keyboard. When we're done adding text, we can close the keyboard by selecting OK, or we can press the menu key and select Save. The movie camera icon represents the video clips we've recorded. We can play clips, and we can annotate them with text comments. We can pause playback with the select key, and we can press the menu key to return to the job review screen. 
The page icon will open a preview of the final report. If you've entered customer or job information, or annotated your still images and video clips with notes, you'll be able to see it as it will appear to your customer. When we're done, we'll press the menu key to close the report, and then we'll press it again to close the job review screen. We want to take a look at the report on a laptop, so we'll make sure that the green check mark is visible at the bottom of the screen. This indicates that we can safely remove the USB drive. To avoid damaging your media files, never remove the thumb drive unless the green check mark is visible. On some computers, the USB drive will launch automatically when it's inserted. If it doesn't, simply open it and then double click the report file to view the inspection. Depending on your browser, you may need to allow blocked content in order to view video clips. In the past few minutes, we've taken a quick look at the CS6's core features. We've connected it to our camera, used its text and titling capabilities, documented an inspection with still images and video, and viewed the final customer report. On behalf of the entire Rigid team, thank you for buying the CS6.